Yo, what's good everybody? It is Redox Dominations here once again. Welcome back with another awesome video. All right, first of all, before I begin, happy holidays, everybody. I hope you guys got the best presents ever on Christmas, and I hope you guys all had a great time with your family and friends. Um, and once again, happy early New Year's, because it is coming uh, in just a couple of days. Uh, it is December 30th today, so the next year is just about to roll in. So I hope you guys all have a list to do, you know, make, make a list of resolutions for the next year. I have a set of my own as well. Um, let's all be a better person on 2017 sorry 2016 oh my god i fucked up there so bad okay <laughs> anyways on to the video everybody um so today i'm gonna show you guys what tactic i'm using these days as the british yes if you guys haven't noticed i have switched from the french to the british because i really wanted to go back to the origins you know the first nation that i played as i really like the longbowman unit and i am really glad that the british are not one of the worst nations anymore um so as you guys see uh in my barracks i basically have all foot soldiers all infantry all archers yes i'm gonna go into the barrack and show you guys what i have so i have 90 royal yeomanry and 30 fusiliers that's right guys, I have dropped all the knights, all the cannons, supply trains, wall sappers, dragoon rangers, you name it. I'm only using two types of army units right now. Uh, of course, the uh, main uh, unit composition is the British archers. As you guys all know, these guys are really powerful because they got the extra range, plus one range. Um, and I've, you know, the reason why I've actually decided to drop all the knights and cannons and the supply carts is because with the British, your knights are just not as strong as they used to be. I don't know. I really don't like these guys. Um, sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce pronounce their name. It's some European uh, name. So it's like Cuirassier, something like that. I totally fucked that up. I know that. It's probably a French name. Um, but anyways, these guys are substantially weaker than the French knights. That's what I've noticed. And I really dislike using them. They have... Petty, petty damage, like 140 damage per second. That's actually really low for somebody in the industrial age. And it's got like 7,128 hit points, which is pretty low as well. So the French Knights are actually a lot better than these Cuirassiers. So I don't use these guys anymore. I think these guys are horrible. Um, Dragoon Raiders, they got a little bit nerfed with a new patch. Um, but once again, uh, of course you could just spam Dragoon Raiders and use the Training Blessing so you can train these guys really fast. But the thing is, if you're not playing as the French, you'll actually notice that the Training Blessing of 66% is not that great as the French. Which, of course, the French, with their 20% bonus, they would get an 86% training uh, reduction time. And I've noticed that, you know, spamming Dragoon Raiders, even with the Training Blessing, is a little bit slow. So, I decided to just go with a simple army um you know relatively cheaper uh, i would say not not that much cheaper but you know with just the fusiliers and of course the royal eomanry um now the fusiliers they have been overlooked these days of course because the infantry unit has been you know you know downgraded you know debuffed all the way down to the sticks so it's really actually really hard to use these guys but you know, I've decided, hey, why not give these guys a chance? So that's why I've brought 90 archers and 30 fusiliers. So I always use some kind of composition like this now, and I'm pretty happy with it. Although it's not as, you know, sustainable as, you know, using the knights, cannon, supply cards along with this army. Um, you know, my, you know, the old tactic that I used to use did have a lot of knights in it. So, used, you know, that army was a little bit more sustainable, but as the French. Um, as with the British, I feel like this army is a lot more quicker and for me, I don't care if they all die because they do the job. Now, before I go into the battle, um, I'm going to drop in an armor blessing. So with the armor blessing, I'm going to get, of course, 33% more health for each of the unit. Now, let's go and begin the battle. Alright guys, so I found a guy with a shit ton of loot and his base is semi-decent. Of course, it's not the ba best uh, base design, but you know what? It's not like super easy to attack this guy anyway. So this is a moderate base. Um, I like to attack most of, my, most of the times and he has a lot of loot. So that's really why I'm attacking because I really need a lot of loot right now. I need a lot of food and gold, of course, to do my upgrades. So I got three seconds. Let's lay down the troops. Um, so I'm going to actually start off on this side, knock out that readout tower because you really don't want your infantry 
uh, to to get hemmed in by these machine gun turrets. They will destroy the fuse liar unit. They will, you know, you know, just kill everybody. So you really don't want those readout towers still intact. So I'm gonna drop in all my archers right now. The general Napoleon has come in himself right now. Um, so let's see what my archers can do right here. So oh, Napoleon is just shooting his pistol right there. I don't think it's the right time to drop in my fuse liars yet. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of leave them alone. Uh, until my archers kind of do some work, but he's actually doing quite a bit of damage here um, I am gonna have to probably drop in a sabotage or two pretty soon Okay, I'm gonna have to drop in my fuselier because my um, Infantry unit are uh, sorry my uh, British archers are actually kind of dying really fast here I'm gonna just drop in a sabotage right there. Um, I've already lost almost 30 Yeoman units. Okay, so my troops are kind of spreading out. I don't really like that uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and target that cannon actually get rid of that thing because that thing is very nasty to the archers Oh, that's what you want to do. Okay, so we got a problem with this cannon. We gotta get rid of that one as well Okay, so of course with the uh, armor blessing. It's actually helping me survive uh, If you don't have the armor blessing, it's a little bit harder because these guys are our foot soldiers. They have less HP everything like that so uh, This cannon is gonna pose as a problem right now and that readout tower as well. So all the fuselayers are gonna just get crushed right here. They're they're gonna die to that readout tower. I can tell. Well, some of them actually uh, were smart enough, and they're they're just going gonna go into the middle for the food. So that's what I like there. And pretty much, I just you know watch my armies do do the job. You know, as long as they destroy most of the resources, I am pretty happy. And I don't want to use more than two sabotage. Normally, I don't even use any war tactics. But this guy's base is actually harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, his base looked initially easy to uh, ravage but it's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be this is definitely uh, one of the more more annoying bases I would say because I had to use two word tactics normally I don't have to use that much I'm already down to 20 archers so I mean this army is obviously not as good as good as the you know knight cannon archer and supply card composition like I said it's not a sustainable army but I find that this army army is a pretty good looting composition for the British um, now I don't know about the other nations uh, perhaps it may work as well, but for the British, I really like this army composition. I really do. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and target that food. This gate, th at this at this point, this battle is pretty much done. Um, I mean, I don't really care about the victories or the medal. I just care about the loot. As you guys see, uh, that I've I've already collected most of the loot here, anyways. So there we go. So the battle is done. I'm just gonna end it. Uh, I mean, all I care about is loot. So like I said, this is my looting, you know, army. So I don't, you know, I really like this army. To be honest, I've actually been using this army in the, uh, in the Alliance Wars as well. So, I mean, it's not like this army's horrible at all. So, yeah, I've kind of just dropped everything and just, you know, spammed archers and a little bit of fuselage to help destroy the walls. So other than that, I mean, it's a pretty pretty uh you know easy easy army composition to use there's nothing really too difficult about it of course you have to get rid of the catapults and the readout towers those are the worst enemies for this uh army composition so um that guy's base was definitely not as easy as i thought it was gonna be initially you know when i saw his base i thought it was gonna be easy but uh definitely not that easy because i only got one star there and i had to drop in two war tactics so um you know other battles i can kind of show you my uh attack history right here i mean Oh yeah, this guy, I mean, these other people, obviously I haven't done very well against them either. I could do a quick replay, but as you guys see right now, I've got like, like, look at this, like 100 archers and 20. This one didn't work out very well. That was too many archers. I need, I think I need to have at least 30 fuselayers. Um, but as you can see, these other battles, I haven't even used a war tactic. So let me just show you uh, guys this one right here. So this battle, I used 80 archers and 40 fuselayers. Um, this guy's base is obviously not as good as the other guy's base um he obviously has all his defenses outside which is not a very good uh way to defend your base and his walls are a little bit low on the levels as well but i'm just gonna bring out all my archers there as you guys can see i'm pretty much just going in and uh storming his resources i mean i'm just here to loot he had a lot of food so i decided to take it all um and yeah this is pretty much gonna be a quick quick and nice easy victory uh, for me, although I still couldn't destroy his base 100%, I think. Um, but yeah, this battle is pretty much like that. Yeah, so this guy's base wasn't too hard. Uh, let's go and see another replay. Uh, maybe, um, maybe a harder base. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the other replays. But as you guys see, I mean, um, I didn't even use, I don't use blessings or the sabotage on a normal basis. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna go back to my war tactic here and just 
bring in uh, two more sabotage there because I really like the sabotage. I don't know. I really like that uh, war tactics, my favorite one. But let's go back into my inbox and look at that glitch. Okay, so um, yeah, here these battles I've used one sabotage. Uh, let's take a look at this one here. Okay, so this one I didn't get any stars at all. I lost, but I'm just trying to see what. Oh yeah, this guy's base. Okay, so I've attacked a lot of these bases too. This is definitely a difficult base. Um, so I drop in a war tactic right there. Boom! Uh, bring in all my archers there because he's got a lot of food and oil on this side. So that's why I decided to attack. So I had to use one sabotage there. Now as you can see, uh, my archers are doing a sick do job of destroying everything here. Um, let's kind of speed this up. And uh, yeah, this guy's base is kind of like a labyrinth. Uh, had to get rid of that readout tower right there because it was crushing my troops. And there's another readout, ta readout tower there. That's gone. Um, and that bombard is definitely doing work. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take all that loot. Okay, come on, speed it up, baby. All right, I'm gonna speed up a little bit more and see what happens. I guess that's pretty much it. So I don't even, yeah, I don't even get a victory here. But I did take in uh, pretty much all his food. Couldn't take his gold though, which kind of sucked. He still had 173,000 gold. Uh, he still had 667 oil, but you know, I did take a lot of food. So my goal in this battle was just to take the food. Um, but as you see, um, this is a good looting army for the British. I don't know about the other uh, other nations, but I think I, like, I've seen Koreans use this tactic on me before too. So I think for Koreans it would work out. So basically, any uh, any any nations with a good archer unit, like I mean, give it a shot. Like just use a lot of archers and fusiliers. This is not supposed to be an army that that's that's gonna be destroying bases 100% of the time. Um, this is more of a looting army, so if you want to loot resources fast, I don't know. I like this unit composition, um, although, of course, there are better compositions to do this. But, I mean, I'm okay with this unit composition. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, you guys were, you know, there's, some, there's a lot of people who are asking me, uh, what army do I use right now, uh, you know, while playing as the British. Of course, uh, this is definitely not the best tactic but I've been using this and I've been pretty successful like you know I showed you my mailbox uh, that's pretty much this is pretty much the only army composition I've been using um, for a long time so anyways thanks for watching this video give this uh, you know army composition a try if you'd like to um, if you're playing as a French you don't need to because you should definitely use the French cavalry it's just a lot better than the regular knights so anyways thanks for watching this video once again I hope you guys all have a great new year and a great next year as well and i'll see you guys next time